Welcome back to the Blair Witch Project. This is Jack. After that last episode, I actually uh, actually had to take a hot second to have myself a good drink of coffee. That was pretty intense. All right, so we just had a hallucination that he was basically back in um, the Middle East. Uh, this is probably uh, where a lot of his PTSD comes from, and then he had a major breaking point. Fuck. We need to find another way. He had a major... Where did the... Things are disappearing as I'm looking at them. Or looking away from them. Alright. That's not important. Um, this game's doing a good job about messing with what your ex expectations. Don't crawl underneath that. Okay, Wait, so is that a railroad track? One way to this. Where it, leads. it wants me to go to the sawmill because I've several times gotten reasons to go to the sawmill. So we're gonna go to the campsite instead. Mind you, I'm assuming that this force is. Come here, boy. What does he want? Hang on. Did he find something? All right, let's go. Because we're assuming that it's actually going to give me a choice. As we've seen in uh, the previous episode. I don't know what that was. It just... Alright, okay. I found a tower. It may be... How the hell did they get here? Yeah, this has got to be the people that he lost. And the forest is uh, playing tricks. Was my character... A... I wonder if my character was a medic in the war. Uh, let's check my messages. Voicemail. You have one new voicemail, alright. You have one new message. We're gonna keep following this. Might lead me to the campsite. This game, as I said before, this game's doing a really good job with cerebralness. Okay. Can I do anything about this box? I don't know why I would need to do anything. It was working. All right. Rail cart. Okay. Oh wait, I remember seeing the rail cart. Um, early in the game, when uh, like things were older than they should be, kind of thing. Uh, we saw the rail cart, and it was like half buried. Huh. Jump on, boy. On. <sighs> Direction lever, forward, backwards, brake, power switch. Alright. Alright, so yeah, uh, so I really didn't have a choice. It's taking me to the sawmill. I really don't think that heart rate's right. It's saying I'm, like, at the 70 and all that good stuff. There is no way my heart rate is that low. Like, seriously. I might have it in a bad spot or something. I don't know. It's my, I think my resting heart rate's higher than that. Uh, no, my health is not that great. So we're at the camp sawmill thing again. What the hell? Hang on. Oh, that's me supposed to have having already pulled the brake. Good right. enough, buddy. I looked away at the wrong time. I was in there trying. I didn't know there was a locking operation out here. It's 
stopped giving out permits in the 60s. <laughs> this is ancient. Alright. Hmm, looks like some kind of a winch. There's gotta be a way to turn it on. Why would you want to? Like, what does it accomplish you turning it on? We're looking for a missing kid. And this place seems to rewrite itself to fit whatever you want. So at that point, like, I would have been... What? Okay, hopefully this will open the door. He just opened the door for me. The maintenance shed looks promising. Maybe there's some spare parts left. Let's see what's this. Uh, we just got a new delivery coming to the maintenance shed to pick up the parts you want. I want to. I want to see what I can do with the recorder. There it goes. It's lit. It's a valve, but the handle's missing. Okay. Oh, it steam's escaping. The pressure's not going to build up. God. Another one. I'm so sorry. Yeah, it's another person. Yeah, he had to have been some kind of medic or something. All right. Well, in that case, we need to let's go ahead and fast forward to where this door is open. Okay, I am here. So just before the bridge, I need to take a right to get to the. No, not even before then. Okay, so I just need to follow the Gazuntai puppy. I do like the fact that they made the dog sneeze. I'm assuming this is going to be another spatial loop, and I really don't have a choice where I'm going, so... Eventually, I'm going to see a path that is going to lead off to the side. That'll hopefully take me to where I need to go. Alright. Alright, I don't recognize... Okay, this is the bridge. I think this is the bridge that the map showed. Yeah, it is. So I think the maintenance shed is before this bridge. Alright, hang on, this looks, this looks... I'm gonna say they use the word promising, although that's probably not accurate. Alright, bunch of twigs in my way, so that's gonna stop me. Well, let's just go across the bridge, see what happens. Wait, why am I walking? I could have taken the um, trolley. Oh, it's too late now. I've already walked this far. Alright. Camp A. Yeah, it looped me back around. I actually think you have to... Oh, no, that's not what it is. Okay. I know what I gotta do. Pull it up. Okay.
There's supposed to be another lever around here that allows me to stop. Hang on. Direction forward, backward. No, that's it. Okay. I, I thought there was a... Hang on. There's got to be a way to switch tracks. There it is. That's what it's looking for. Okay. Let me get, let me get back there. Let's go, bullet. It's about the only thing that seems to be able to move through the uh, uh, through the forest against the wishes wishes of the witch. I think would be the words I'm looking for. Is this trolley? So we got to take the, uh, we got to take it. Back on it. Come on. Just disengage the brake and go forward. There we go. So now, yeah, now we're looping around it. Jesus! Stick to the light, buddy. Should be safer this way. Come on, buddy. All right, we got it. Here's the shed. <sighs> that scared the hell out of me. Someone's near me. There he is. And assuming there's only one. So I just... I think I just pissed off the whole hornet's nest. So, note to self, do not turn that lever again. They move fast. Okay. Holy hell. Like, yeah, the, my, seriously, my heart rate is not 68. There is no way that's accurate. Hang on. I think I know what's causing it, too. Hang on. <sighs> yeah, I don't think I'm going to do the heart rate thing anymore, because it just, it just, there's no way that is accurate. Once again, it's showing more and more of the people that he seems to have missed in the war. This again. Looks like we won't be getting in through here. All right. Yeah, there's no... Still no way that's accurate. fit through here? No, it won't let me. Alright. Unfortunately, that looks like it's the only way in, so how the hell do I get in there? And I can't jump, so... got for me <sighs> steam donkey that's just funny all right so what I need is back there I just need to get through all right let's see what can I get the dog to do something hang on where are you buddy Bullet, search Alright, so that's a no. Because it won't let me climb through here. 
and it looks like the only real way in. Unless I can get to an odd angle and then grab whatever is lit up right there. Because there's something right there. Hang on. Oh, there we go. Oh, please don't tell me that dog gets hurt. Okay. One down, one to go. Alright, so we got one. And I think the other one was at the other... At the other, uh... At the other other camp. Hang on, let's see what's all right. Maintenance shed, steam donkey. All right, we're going to camp. let's go to site B. Everything seems to be leaving me alone right now, so we're doing good. Jump on, boy. Campsite B. Let's go, Bullet. I know as soon as I turn that, I'm going to get attacked again. There it goes. Let's see where they at. Here they come. There's one. There's the other. There's at least two. They got pretty damn close, too. There's the other one. So. All right. Once again, that, that can't be accurate. It's saying 73. And I can feel my heart rate beating faster than that. I don't think I'm going the right way. Fudge. It's okay. It's just fine. Let's see what's this. <sighs> Psychological report illegible. Background summary and reason for referral. Patient brought in by parents due to extreme panic attacks, insomnia, and sleepwalking after traumatic experience. I advise three therapeutic sessions per week. That's a lot. During a preliminary interview, I was able to determine the following. The patient actually avoids recalling the event. Experience a vivid nightmare since the event, possibly coping mechanism. He exhibits emotional numbness, irrational aggression, and a disassociation to the event. Overall, he appears nervous, possibly undiagnosed anxiety. Why would a psychological report be out here? And the dog's just chilling. I don't know if I'm going the right way, but once again, we know the game won't let you go where it doesn't want you to go. Another one. Another one buys the dust, and another one gone, and another one gone. Another one buys the dust. Like this. Doing a good job of making me anxious. Alright, I can't go any further this way. I can go this way. Alright, I'm seeing some logs. I'm seeing a cart. And that's where the power blew. Okay. I 
Still don't know where I'm actually going. Hearing running water. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think I'm supposed to be going this way. Let's go back. Interesting. Okay, hang on. Although the power may be blown, these light wires might tell me where to go. Alright. I'm also just following this rail line anyway, so let's go back to following this until I get to the dead end. Alright, that's where it blew. Alright, it's going this way. Okay, hang on. Then it goes this way. Oh no, this is the way it was originally going. Okay, hang on. It just kind of like changes direction midair. Like something's supposed to be there. I just walked through something. It is really hard. Where I don't know where the hell I'm going. Once again, I don't think I'm going the right way. I'm going to keep walking this way like I am. So. Okay, I'm back on the trail. Okay, here's where the down power line is, okay. Okay, I'm on the other side of the down power line. Okay, I was supposed to go up here, okay, okay. Here we go. Sorry, I was actually going in a, a one another one of those infinite loops and I was just stuck. This one is barely holding up. Let's see if there's anything to salvage. This should do it. Alright, cool. Okay, let's see what's over here. Another one. It's not my fault. They said it wasn't, but I know the truth. They're all... It's my fucking fault. When I took the camera from that old fool, it was full of senseless chatter. But I saw it. I saw the things it can really do. Though I can look into the darkness and see the creatures that lurk there without being seen. Though I can see the things that escape my eyes. And through it, I can gaze back into the things I've done. It won't let me forget. It raises the question, who's recording all this stuff that we're finding? And how do they have the ability to let me rewind time? Okay, like, it won't let me jump down this little ledge right here. Which would put me at, back at the beginning of the whole trail. So I gotta do the long walk back around. Which, in horror games, usually means because there, there's something programmed to happen. That it, I, it won't let me bypass. Or... Because the game is li um, intentionally limiting uh, limiting my path for you know various reasons, whatever. Enough with the meta commentary. I am about to get the crap scared out of me. The light just changed again on me, which is never a good sign. All right, so I made it back to the 
rail tracks, which is good. Because uh, I left the cart pretty far back, so I'll be able to follow it. I don't know if I'm missing anything else and I'm being the dumb. We'll find out in a minute. I don't... What is that? There's the minecart again. Okay, that's just the uh, bridge. Okay. Yeah, I gotta pull you back. Once again, this place this place does uh, Come on, time and space is not linear. Let's go ahead and prep it to go forward once I pull that brake. Good enough, buddy. Thankfully, the dog just teleports up, so I don't have to pay, uh, watch as closely on him. Now, I got a feeling something's gonna be happening on this bridge. Yeah, the dog already doesn't like it. The fuse is gonna start blowing as I go across. Yeah, the game's kind of moving me around. Which happens when the world is, um,. I'm guessing it's because the world is teleporting me around. The forest is doing its whole non-linear movements. Alright, I'm back to campsite one. Or A, whatever. Pull it here. Come on, buddy. You can't actually jump off when it's moving, that's interesting. Oh yeah, I gotta, hang on. <laughs> gotta get it in the green. Get it closer to the 100. Oh, okay. It's done. And the road's clear. Hop on, buddy. Back on track. Now let's find that bastard. Alright, cool. Too have to push aside. Cool. Now I just gotta switch the tracks again. And we are on our way. All right. Well, that's a that's all the time I got in this one. Uh, we'll pick up in the next one. Um, this one did a really good job of the time looping thing, but uh, unfortunately, I could see a couple places where it was like moving me around a little bit because it was trying to loop it. It's whatever. This is still doing a very good job, surreal, and it played with my expectations. I was expecting when I crossed the bridge for the power to, to the bridge to cut off, so it'd just be darkness. And then I had to be watching forward and backwards as monsters were coming after me, but it didn't do that. It might still do that later. It might be another bridge up here. and We'll find out in a minute. Um, thanks for watching. This has been Jack with the Geek's Perspective. Please like, subscribe, and share. Please follow all the usual good stuff. Most importantly, hey, take care of yourself, all right?